Well, this relates to the news, top news. We got, um, as far as the presidential race, Nikki Haley, she drops out. Um, the White House strongly condemns Houthis after Red Sea attack leaves to delete it. And also relating to cable wires were cut, relating to underground, relating to the uh, cable. Some vi various videos talking about uh, that could affect from, you know, for example, India to Europe, you know, relating to our, our tampering with the, uh, the, the underground cable internet. We'll get that scripture in a minute. Let's get that. Let me see. Before I get that scripture, let me look for something. There's reports three, let me see, one day ago, uh, yeah, three Red Sea under, underwater data cables have been cut. Red Sea cable cuts at Houthi, uh, cuts at, uh, let me see, yeah, the Red Sea tensions, three sea data cables cut amid more Houthis attacks. The Red Sea war cuts internet from India to Europe, for example. These are just various reports. And you also have it uh, relating to that bill, the 367 relating to uh, pretty much cutting off relating to freedom of religion, freedom of expression of religion, freedom of uh, assembly relating to religion, you know, relating to um, conveying the message relating to the Bible in public. You know, it could be penalty, could be fine, or relating to the C third, the uh, bill C was at three six or C uh, six three, or talking about relating to on internet. You know what I mean? So that's another issue. Internet uh, uh, um, pertaining to that. You know, um, that would go if uh, you know uh, if they deemed it offensive relating to hate or the anti s word. If it goes deems or is marked or labeled or even, you know, suspicion relating to that, it could be penalty, it could be fine, it could be different things happen. You know, I mean, that's what that goes to. Um, let me get um, Amos 8 and 11. Because what's happened, that, that's in Canada relating to um, the 2023-23, uh, 2022-23, and... Uh, the, uh, the bill, pretty much the bill, the um, uh, 367, you know what I mean, Canadian relating to um, uh, removing individuals from pre preaching um, the gospel or the Bible in, in public, you know what I mean, and that's protect us specifically relating to, um, pertaining to the ones who are preaching the word. Amos um, 8 and 11. that real quick because basically it goes it boils down to hate speech you know even if uh, it has the suspicion or smells of suspicion of hate speech it could be a penalty let's go to uh, Amos 8, 8 and 11 um, behold the days come saith the Lord that I will send a famine in the land Thou will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but hearing, but hearing the word of God. So that goes not of food or water, but of hearing this word, man. You know, the uh, the truth of knowledge is going to be cut. You know what I mean? Part of that truth of knowledge, how it's going to be cut, relating to the internet, man, which is the unicorn. Um. They shall wander from sea to sea, north even to the east, pretty much four corners of the earth, man. Looking for what? Then they shall run to and fro to see the word and shall not find it because it's not going to be available. It's not going to be readily available. You know what I mean? That's part of um, the family of the word, which is pretty much the internet 
the communication relating to that word uh, would be the internet being cut off, the source of information, you know what I mean, uh, information, man, you know what I mean. Go to, uh, go to, let's continue with the news. Let's talk about big disaster, big disaster in the Red Sea, severed underground cable disrupts global internet connects this is uh times of india show an illustration relating play a little of this Let's show this a little bit real quick this is toi report which is times of india So this will affect area pretty much uh, West Asia to Europe, Europe, India, etc. You know what I mean? And these are the underground cables relating to that underneath. So they look like look like uh, they look like uh, what's that? Uh, the coral. You know what I mean? The coral snake. That's what they look like a little bit. Let's play the rest of this. This area is Red Sea, Yemen. That's where all that tension with the Houthis. These undersea cables, which are in that minutes. You have Saudi Arabia on top. You have, uh, let me just play this. You have a report that uh, Putin um, warning the West relating to sending um, uh, troops relating to Ukraine, threat of um, again relating to nuclear um, war, making threats to the West, NATO, and different things regarding that sending troops in that area, Ukraine, the uh, the uh, warning for for the West. Okay. Let's continue on. Um, A lot of Trump news. Let me see. This is a proper video here. Um, California is split on the ballot measure to tackle homelessness crisis. The homelessness crisis relating to politics is not politic, is not exactly the most uh, priority relating to uh, political aspect, man. It's, you know, so that's kind of like you see what you don't see. You know, what I mean, they're there, but they they're not there. You know what I mean? So it's not a high priority for the politicians to work on that. Um, <clears throat> Mitch McConnell endorses Donald Trump for president. You have... Uh, House, um, they passed six spending bills relating to keeping the government open ahead of the deadline, which is March 8th and March 22nd. So they got to work together to sign that relating to that, to pass that for those deadlines. That's what that goes to. The scripts news, which be, used to be newsy news, changed the scripts. Uh, let me see what we got here. 
NY, NY governor deploys National Guards for subway bag checks and rising crime. Because you have, an, and that goes to because of the migrants, man. You know what I mean? You having a lot of incidents up there with the police, up there in NYC, people being attacked, and also NYC residents being attacked by some of these migrants, man. So, that's one hour ago. So he deploys National Guards in what? The subway areas, man. You have, uh, let me see. Pretty much it's getting bad up in New York, man. Let's get 2 Timothy 3 1. Real quick. Russian missile strike near Zelensky's convoy. It's a few hours ago. Second Timothy's start at three. Because the people are acting a certain manner, man. You know what I mean? Scripture talks about 24, what, 12? Talk about uh, iniquity shall bound in many, uh, 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 iniquity shall bound, the love of many shall wax cold. So the love of many is waxing cold, man. You know, we in perilous times. And know this, that the last days perilous times shall come. Pearl goes to evil and bad times, man. For men shall be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, man. Without natural affection, go with uh, 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 pretty much uh, a lack of infection, man. You know what I mean? Iniquity shall bound, the love of many shall wax cold. Truce bakers, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, which goes to lacking self control, fierce, which goes to savage. So, lack of control, fierce, despiser of those that are good, haters of those that are good. Traitors, betrayers, Haiti. Haiti goes to um, very impulsive, brash, uh, impulsive, brash, you know, um, another one. Yeah, brash and impulsive. That will go with um, pretty much incontinent as well. You know what I mean? Brash, impulsive, very, um, that, that impulse control, lacking, imp you know, very impulsive. High minded, very high of themselves, lovers of pleasures more than the lovers of God. Uh, adulterer, ye, uh, ye adulterers, uh, scripture talks about James 4 4. Ye adulterers and adulterers know that friendship of the world is an enmity to, of God. Whosoever is a friend of the Lord is an en enemy of Yahweh, which is 4 4 James, paraphrasing. So, So the ways of this world will be uh, abomination to the Lord. Man, you know what I mean? Having a form of godliness and denying the power thereof from such turn away. So that's the outward appearance. And having that appearance, outward appearance of something, but truly denying the power of therein. Man, you know? So um, these are some of the characteristics relating to what the people have now. And it's going to worsen in the latter times. Man. Um Let's so, go back. You also have a uh, strange weather pattern moving across the Gulf and across the country, man. You know, still strange weather patterns, rain, hurricanic type winds and rains in this time of year, very unseasonably and unusual, man. You know, uh, what else we have? You're seeing a lot of information relating to final financial news like America, you know, fi from a financial aspect is heading down pretty much um, heading over the cliff in a matter of speaking financially. You've seen a lot of reports. Um, let's report here. The BRICS, let me see what it said. It's Lena uh, Petrova. 
much the other one. Bricks block blockchain system launched. So that goes to these other nations because they're trying to de dollarize relating to uh, de, -dollar de dollarize and um, um, break the power and dependency of that dollar, man. You know what I mean? So um, these nations are breaking away from the dollar, man, getting, getting control of that dollar financially. you see in relating to um, the, the times we're in man um, you got a, a Sierra Nevada snowstorm increasing um, you have an You have something here relating to uh, measles, relating to Michigan, potentially exposed. Uh, sell the news. Let's get some scriptures. Let me see. Sherlock. Um, Matthew, uh, Revelations 12 and um, 12. Uh, Woe unto the inhabitants of earth and the sea, for the devil's going to come in great wrath, knowing but he has a short time. So he has a short time, man. His time is coming to an end, man. The scripture talks about 2nd Andrews uh, um, uh, 14, talk about end of age relating to the evils are going to grow. Grow even, grow more, man. Grow worse. 2nd Andrews 14, starting right now around uh, 14 on down. 14, 14 to um, 16, 17 on down. So the evils are increasing, man. And the evil, because we end of the age, age grace to an eon, interrupted time period rulership, man. You know what I mean? So we're seeing, we're coming at the end of the age. Second Ezra 6, talking about um, for Esau's the end of the world, Jacob's the beginning that follows. So we're in the end of the age, which is the eon of this rulership, man. You know what I mean? That's why you're seeing the increased evils continue to grow and grow more, man. You know what I mean? Um, you're seeing the uh, Lord is beginning to visit the earth which he has made. Signs, man. 21 of Luke talking about there should be fearful sights and signs come from the heaven, man. You're seeing that, man. You know what I mean? You're seeing the... Um, you seeing um, the manifestation relating to the warnings, man. The Lord is known by the judgment he executes, man. You know what I mean? Different diversity related to judgment he's known for, man. So he's beginning to visit this world, man. Let's go to Second Ezra 6, man. Real quick. Second Ezra 6. Because you're hearing of these nations relating to war, threatening of uh, war to each other, man. Hearing wars, rumors of wars. See, you be not troubled by and by for, for nation for nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be earthquakes, pestilence in different places. These are times of sorrows. Matthew 24, 6 through 8. So, you know, that's where we're in, man. And not just hearing of wars and, and news of, war, of wars. You're seeing wars, man. Ukraine, Russia. You know what I mean? Um, continuation relating to Hamas and Israel. And, um, you know what I mean? The Gaza. You know what I mean? Um, continuation of war, man. You know what I mean? You get 6 and 18. So this society is being shut down, man. Slowly and slowly. 18. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will draw nigh. Remember, the Lord is beginning to, this is earth which he, he has made. He's drawing nigh. Scripture talks about, and Ecclesiastes 12 and 1 talks about, in thy youth, um, uh, 
seek the, seek the uh, Lord in thy youth, while the days are far, or the evil days are at, are uh, are not are 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 not nigh, man. That's twelve one of uh, Ecclesiastes, man. So we have, you know, you seek those wild, wild evil days are still, uh, still, still at a distance, man. Sixteen and eighteen. Let's go. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will draw nigh and visit them that dwell on the earth. So the Lord is drawing them with different warnings and different signs, man. He's drawing he's different warnings and signs upon the what the inhabitants of the earth, man. Before you know, as warnings and signs before the com coming of sending of His Son, man. And I will begin to make inquisition. Inquisition is investigation or inquiry of them what they be that hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. That's the wicked. That's the ones in a position of power, man. That's the ones who are, this is the end of their rulership relating to that. Esau, man. That's who that goes to, man. They're the, they're the ones who are ruling in the position of ruling, man. Go to Genesis 36. You know what I mean? Talk about the Esau's descendants. They're, they're the ones that are in position of power. And I'll show you an example, Lord willing. Um, let me say, I will make I will begin to make an inquisition of them that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. Their un unrighteousness, their wickedness, man, their iniquities, their increase in iniquities, man. You know what I mean? Um, 29 and 2 talk about when the righteous are in authority, Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, people mourn. So people are mourning because what? Of their own of their wickedness and unrighteousness pertaining to their wickedness man and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled and when the world that shall begin to vanish away you see the world begin to vanish away you know what I mean you know what I mean that spirit of mirth go to uh, Isaiah 24 and 12 talking about um, 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 I'll get that talking about as the city vanishes that's what you're seeing man as the world as the world that shall begin to vanish away scripture talks about and um, uh, so, um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3 talking about uh, they shall look out the windows and it be darkened just dismal uh, gloomy and and and, uh, and no future no hope man and because the world is what getting to vanish away you know the joy the mirth is being taken man and when the world that shall begin to vanish away and shall be finished, then I will shew these tokens which are signs, and the books shall be opened before the firm, and they shall see all together. So the books, the late, the books are being opened, and these signs are being made manifest, man. And the children of a year old shall speak their voices, and women with children shall bring forth untimely children as prematurity. And three years and four months old, and they shall live and raise and be raised up. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full storehouses suddenly be found empty. And that goes to scarcity relating to supplies and victuals, man, which will be a big major thing, which is, will lead to what? Famine, man. You know what I mean? Supplies being shortage. That's why you're going to see home invasion, invasion of private and public entities, man, because of a lack of bread goes to the victuals, goes to the supplies. Second Ezra 15, 14 through uh, uh, 18, 19, you know what I mean? So, uh, second Ezra 16, in Haiti, man, you have um, the, the increased un civil unrest and violence, man. Uh, earthquakes and uh, uh, uproars of the people, commotions, disturbances, civil unrest, unrest, man, you know what I mean? Um, state of emergency relating to in Haiti and also a major um, criminals uh, major uh, criminals breaking out of uh, 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 prison man you know what I mean so so Haiti's pretty much on a very very high alert man you know um, let's get um And the trumpet shall give a sound, which every man hear, if they shall be suddenly afraid, so a distinct, terrifying sound, man. And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. So friends are going to turn against each other. Egyptian versus the Egyptian. 
City against city, nation against nation, city, city against city, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, 19 and 2 of Isaiah. Uh, at that time, the friends shall fight one another like enemies. Un at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And that goes to the division. The Lord has sent a spirit of variance, a division. Even among uh, a man's household shall be his own enemies, man. 1036 of, of Matthews, man. So a variance and division is going to be set forth. Think not that I come to send peace, but rather division. So a certain vibration is going to be set on earth uh, pertaining to vi uh, division, cause of division, variance relating to on the land, man. And the earth shall stand, stand in fear of those that dwell therein, man. And relating to the condition, relating to on earth. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours shall not run. That's physical waters, and this society will be like running waters, and they be and, the, and those running waters relating to society are being slowly cut off, man. You know what I mean? And that's what you're seeing, man. Let me get um. Let Whosoever remaineth. From all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation to endure to the end. Though the same shall be saved. To endure all these um, these evils, man. And shall see and, and let me say, whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape. So these things were told from the beginning that certain things will happen in, in the times to come, man. See my salvation. See the and the end of your world, end of Esau's world. This is the end. Of, this is the end of the age of Esau's rule, Eon, man. For Esau's the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning that follows, man. Um, let's go to. Uh, which one I want? Isaiah, right? Twenty-four. Isaiah 24 and you and it was a, it was a situation uh, where Russia hacked into a healthcare system affected uh, prescription people who needed prescriptions relating to relating to online so you're seeing a lot of hacks you know what I mean so that's a major thing the cyber the cyber attacks man attacking different venues different entities here man you know what I mean different institutions man whether it's medical or financial or um, you know you know um, tech you know so that's a big thing man so they couldn't get on they couldn't get their range of prescriptions because of the compromise on the on the, on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the on the internet man Compromise, you know, on uh, being hacked. Twenty-four and ten. Um, the city of confusion is broken down, which is Babel, Babylon, Babel, which means confusion. Every house is shut up, so it's shut up, man. and no man may come in, man. Like the cities being shut up, the Babylon, that great powerful cities being shut up. There is crying for wine in the streets, and all joy. All joy is dark, and that goes to the spirit of that mirth, and the mirth of the land is gone. You know, so that's part of that, man. Uh, and, and the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. The condition of the city was going to happen, man. You know what I mean? So you hear the th threats of war, World War Three. We already in World War Three, just now full blown with missiles flying across each other. You know, what I mean, talking about uh, the famine of war potentially. That's around the corner relating to, like I was saying, what's going on in Canada. That's a major thing, and that's going to spread, or it's going to affect even here. And, of course, the major one is talking about the uh, Revelations 13. You know what I mean? The transition to a new system, man. You know what I mean? That's going to, that's around the corner. Everything's around the horizon, man. It just, when it's, when it's going to, uh, when, W-H-E in question mark, and how it's going to be instituted, man. You know what I mean? Um, second address 14.
I'm going to start at 13. Now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. So, your house is you getting yourself in order, ability you can, comfort those exhortations, sharpen iron, sharpen iron, reprove, correct, need it, strengthen it, others need it, renounce corruption, denounce it. Uh, and let go of the mortal thoughts cast away the burdens of man which is pretty much your day to day things you have to deal with and put off now the weak nature in the flesh for he must increase I must decrease John 3 and 30 I believe and he set aside the thoughts that are most heavy into thee and that goes to pretty much the things the worries of the world man. you know what I mean for we have the uh, scripture talks about um, uh, talking about um we um, we use the world, we use it, but don't abuse the world, man. You know what I mean? And uh, don't be entangled with relating to the affairs of this of this life, man. You know. So begin to separate. Scripture talks about Micah two and ten. Um, uh, Arise, ye depart, for this is not a place of your rest. It is corrupted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword of destruction. And Revelation talks a similar language. So begin to separate from this place, man. Um, set aside the thoughts that are most heavy into the worries, man, anxiety, different things, the normal things of what humans deal with, man, and and has to flee to, and and haste to flee from these times. For yet greater evils than those which thou has yet seen, has yet seen or, or experienced, least least living in this lifetime, man. Greater evils, that's where that goes to, man. Yet greater evils in those that which has seen happen has done hereafter. So greater evil is going to happen, even worse than before, man. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. The continuation of the age, the, the increase of evils, also the morality, the, uh, the dilapidation and degradation of mor moral morals will increase will will worsen man. Let me read that again. Um for look how much the world shall be weaker through age. Esau's age. Esau's the end of the world. Jacob's to begin that foul. So much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell on the earth. So evils are gonna increase, man. Because we getting closer closer, man. High time to wake out of seat because our salvation may be nearer we the, nearer than we believe. Romans thirteen and eleven, man. So that's why it's telling us to wake up because seeing, you know, pretty much seeing the reality, you know what I mean? Um, the scripture I wanted. Oh, yeah. Genesis 36. God knows who's in power, man. Genesis 36. This is the uh, descendants of Edom, man. That's what that talks about. Eliaphaz, which is Esau's older son. He had a concubine named Timna. And they bore a son named Amalek. And through Amalek would be the descendants of Amal Amalekites, man. And that's what that goes to. And they are the ones that uh, are small but greatly despised, man. And they are the ones who are pretty much the chieftain as far as rulership. And ruling in this earth, man. Let's see, what is that scripture? Um, here we go. So it'll be 30, uh, 36 and 12. So that's the one, they're the descendants relating to Esau. This is the descendants of Esau, man. That's the one who's in a position of power on earth, man. Um, this is just a few scriptures. Um, let me go to Second Ezra's and I'll end it there.
then he answered and said, What shall be this part of the sunder of the times? And when shall be the end of the first? And the beginning of that, that follow of the end of when is the end, man. You know, relating to the first. Esau is the end. Esau is the first, but the end relating to is pertaining to his rulership, man. You know what I mean? Because he's in the position of power. Esau is the end of the world. And begin of, and Jacob's the beginning of that which will follow, man. That's what that goes to. And he said unto me, for Abraham into Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob held his hand in the heel of Esau, pretty much symbolically and, and literally to take him down. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that follows, man. So we're in the end of Esau's age, man. This is his rulership. We're in the, we're in the, we're in the, um, we in the uh, ending, ending stages of that, man. You know what I mean? I hope this helps whoever listens, man. You know what I mean? That's why you're seeing what you're seeing happening, man. That being said, I hope I'll give all praise y'all about Shemil Shabbat Shemir Kakadash, the Zion Wolf. Uh, honest elders, men, and truth on down, like minded ones, teach the truth and knowledge, so we know this truth and knowledge. And to why y'all watch him shout for putting spirit elders possible, like minded ones, for help bringing this truth and knowledge forth, so we can know this truth and knowledge. The call, your best show me, your shout, my shimmer, cock, and us give all praise. Y'all watch him, your shout, my shimmer, cock, and us. Zion, what hope helps, show me.